I don't know if you've ever seen films of the crowd, but people sat sideways to get in. I mean, it wasn't just a regular crowd, it was packed. I was just thinking about uh, the crowds and what we had during those times. I mean, it was just, it was unbelievable. People were standing in line, you know, before the JV game started. McMinnville basketball was the, the number one program in the state for a period of about five years. McMinnville basketball, I guess, we they had some good followings, but when we started winning, I mean, it was very special to play in front of a packed house. With us, this, the city really, really supported us, the community. The support of the community and the school was outstanding. I mean, to uh, have a high school team play in front of a packed gym sold out gyms every night during the season from game one on was uh, quite an occasion whether you're at home or on the road to see that many people that many fans support the club was pretty exciting it was unbelievable the people that would come out and, and root us on you know i'd see certain people up in the stands and they'd have funny hats on and the other teams would come in and just it would be so loud in there that it was a lot for them to deal with and we would usually stomp them a ticket to mcminnville high school basketball was a tough ticket at that time i coached jv basketball at that time and the games were always sold out and the fire marshal closing the doors by halftime of the JV game. It was a pretty neat time for kids to play JV basketball. They played the second half of every game in front of a standing room only crowd. Doors that open at five and there'd be four or five hundred people lined up when we had our winning streak. It was packed by 545. You sat sideways in gyms. They had closed circuit TV next door. You had to watch the JV game if you were going to watch the varsity game. And maybe sometimes you couldn't even get into that unless you knew somebody. You know, we had to turn people away from Minnville High School's gym. And I unfortunately was one of the individuals that had to say you can't come in because the fire marshal says that's it. In a couple games when we played Hillsboro, we were one, they were two in state. And in that game, you had to get through almost the start of the JV game to get in. I mean, you just couldn't get into that game at, at home or at their place. I mean, the teachers would come to all of our games and you don't see that all the time. It was a big following and everybody participated, the whole town, it was remarkable. It was amazing what went on with the people in that community. So they took a lot of pride in uh, how we played, how we conducted ourselves. I'd see people on the street and they would go, good game, you know, and no matter if I played two minutes or 15, because they respected you because you were a part of that machine. And that, that gave us all the pride together. Well, you won the state challenge for a high school, there's, you know, you do feel pride in that. It's nice to see people having a good time and enjoying themselves and enjoying that we could actually bring that to them is, is, is something else. It's hard to describe, really. It really is. I grew up in McMinnville, so I got a lot of pride in small towns. It was neat to, to go in and beat all the metropolitan area schools, and our people turned out better even than they did. We had bigger crowds, louder crowds. I've always told people one of the greatest things I ever did was raise my kids in McMinnville. I thought it was the greatest atmosphere I could have ever raised them. And people got excited about things. The community, the teams meant something to them. I still attend high school basketball games and it's just amazing to me the support of the student body. Athletics is still a big part of the community. I always think of Ma Wheeler. She was our cook and she would make us cinnamon rolls and she would be out there just cheering and cheering with some funny outfit on and it's just those characters in your life that you, you never forget and that stay with you. All those people are part of my life in some way. You know, you take the attributes of those people and you remember them by the way you live your life now and, and trying to remember to be positive and to be um, a team player and uh, to be a part of something 